week's not yet begun And everything is quiet And it's always Hello and welcome to The Dugout, the only show on television right now on this channel. My name's Paul Sampson. I'm joined in the studio live today by a man who's always weighing up the odds. He's punt extraordinaire, Ozzy Osman. Ozzy, welcome to the show. How are you? Yeah, very well indeed, Paul. So, uh, black belt and karate, are you? Chris, think you're a big man, yeah? Now, Tommy Brock. Uh, and that is what I'm going to do to any girl in Manchester that doesn't leave a message for you. Look, all of these out there. Unless there's any legal people watching, in which case... Choke. How are you feeling about Ben? Really good, yeah. Would you say that you fancied her? Yeah, I think she's really sweet. Yeah, so... No, that's not why I asked you. Would you say that you fancied her? Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Do you fancy him? Um. I think we'll find out later on. Uh, I think you know now. <laughs> Do you fancy? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> now, remember, this show without your thoughts is like Aussie after seven pints. It's impotent. So please, stimulate our senses, get in touch. You can phone us, email us or text us. All the information should be on your screen as we speak. Or just press red for a whole world of fun. Well, I didn't believe Clinton when he said he didn't have sexual relations. I didn't believe Archer when he said he wasn't doing it with a prostitute. I didn't believe Shaggy when he said it wasn't me. Uh, I'm not sure I believe Jay when he says he doesn't fancy Amy. But who am I to judge? Anyway, coming up on the screens are eight more beauties. They're all from London. If you fancy any of them, just give us a call, vote for them. You could be dating them on the last episode of the series in London. And you know what that means. Mum, Dad, your boy's coming home. It's top sports journalist Philip Barker. Phil, what's the story? How are you? Well, it's Manchester United caught between a rock of Gibraltar and a hard place. I see what you've done there, and I like it. Now, more from Phil later on, because also coming up on today's show, we take a look at all the FA Cup fourth round fixtures. The angriest man in sport, Barry Cronin, will be foaming at the mouth as per usual, and top sports astrologer John Frawley is looking to the stars ahead of Euro 2004. Stay tuned, all of that and more coming up here in the dugout. OK, not long left before we have to part company for another 24 hours. Before we do so, though, let's have a look at some more texts that have come in. Um, too much pressure on the players at Upton Park this year. Crowd frustrated at the board and take it out on the players. That's from Dave embarking. Could you mention Hull City's fantastic support for the third division club? Yes. Um, and love this programme. How about extending it from Jane Smith, who I think te texted in about um, uh, Saha, Saha before. Yeah. Yeah. Jane's so a regular keep them coming, yeah. Jane. We want to hear more from you personally. You like her, she likes you, and the date is over, and you haven't asked for her number, and you haven't asked to see her again. What is that about? Inevitability. It's going to happen. You think? Yeah. OK. Well, I have full of loyalty to our viewers. I think we should get her in here now. OK. I think Ben has something to ask you. And to tell you. Yeah, no, definitely. Do you want to go out for a drink or whatever in the next... Like, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Wicked. That's okay. super. There we go. <laughs> what about a hug and a kiss? <laughs> Those of you that watch the show week in or day in, day out, you'll know that we have our very own uh, Mr. Angry. Uh, as usual, he's got a bee in his bonnet, which begs the question, why is he wearing a bonnet? Anyway, his name is Barry Cronin. He should be on the line now. Uh, do you think it's time for Lewis to retire? I personally don't see any benefit in him carrying on, uh, Barry. He beat Klitschko. I know everyone's saying that Klitschko was ahead in the fight, but the last two, three rounds, Klitschko was really hanging on for dear life. He beat him fair and square. That was the decision made. He's beating everyone there is in the world to beat. He's avenged all his defeats. He's gained his place in history along with the all-time greats and is arguably, well, without doubt, the greatest boxer alive today. Um, I don't see what he can gain by going against Klitschko again. All that's left for us to do now is cut together a whole host of otherwise unusable footage. Badly lit, poorly shot, cut it all together, bung some music on, speed up, there's your montage! <laughs> 